Welcome back Team Forever, back again with another video and today I'm back with another taste test video and I got Sour Patch Kid cereal. I'm not looking forward to this one. If y'all haven't seen my other taste test video, you will see it right here. It was me trying, I think, a Starbucks drink. Uh, I forgot what it was called. I think it was called a unicorn drink or something like that. I don't know. I mean, that might be completely wrong. But go check out that video after you watch this one. But um, as y'all can see, this is already open because some people I, some people already tried it. And they told me how they felt about it. But I'm still going to just use my own judgment going into this. But I will tell y'all that I'm not, I'm not looking forward to it because the way I see it is... Sour Patch Kids is a good candy. It's really good, but they are sour. And sour milk, that just sour candy inside milk. I'm not seeing how this will go, but I'm about to try it. Yeah, let's just get started with the video. I haven't smelled them or nothing. I just, you know, they actually smell good. Before I even open the bag. Oh, these do smell like the candy. This smells just like Sour Patch Kids, the candy. At first, without the bag part being open, it kind of just smelled like Fruit Loops. Like they smell good. But then when you open this bag, I can definitely smell the candy. It smells like a lot of sugar. I'm not sure how I'm about to like these, but let's get started with the video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go pour a little bit. Just for the purpose of this video, because I'm I'm almost positive I ain't gonna like these. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I don't got my contacts in, and I cannot see the camera. Oh, I mean, hold on. Technical difficulties, y'all. Okay, here we go. There, oh, okay, so y'all could see. I put just the smallest amount of cereal y'all can imagine in here, because I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna like it. Should I try one without the milk? Red is my favorite sour patch, so I'm going to try one without the milk, see how that is. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. It was sour, I'm not going to lie, let me see. It really is sour. I should have did this with somebody, because y'all know I like to bring guests on. This is definitely about the smallest amount of cereal I've ever had and ever will have. But I actually like for my cereal to get a little bit soft. So I'm gonna just play with this a little bit. This is how it looks inside the milk. I'm just assuming that y'all can see that. Uh yeah, but about to try it. And I'm gonna I decided with the taste test videos, I'm gonna do it like, see, for each, for each video is gonna include the last video. So like, so like I, I'm not sure how to explain this or if y'all understand what I just said, but I'm gonna try to explain it better. So the last taste test video I did was the unicorn or whatever that drink was that I tried from Starbucks, right? So now I'm trying these. And what I'm gonna do is judge this one with the last one and see was this better than the last one. Does that make sense? So if I don't think this is better than the unicorn than the Starbucks drink, then for my next taste test, I will still be judging the Starbucks drink. But if I think this tastes better than the Starbucks drink, then with my next taste test, I'll be judging that to this. So hope y'all followed that. But let's get started. Let's taste this cereal. One, two. I think I got every single color inside this spoon. I, I don't know if y'all can see this. Ew. Oh my god. That's horrible. Definitely not better than a Starbucks drink. And I had the Starbucks drink months ago. But that is horrible. Horrible. Ew. That is so bad. Ew. That was horrible. Horrible. Um, definitely the worst cereal I ever had, or at least that I can remember having. That is horrible. Um, 
maybe a kid might like it, but that's definitely sour cereal. It's definitely sour. It's definitely Sour Patch Kids. It's hard Sour Patch Kids with milk. So it's not chewy like how the Sour Patch Kid candy is. It's hard Sour Patch Kids with milk. That's how this tastes. Horrible. I would not recommend y'all buying it. Ew, this is so gross. Um, yeah, that was nasty. Completely nasty. No redeeming qualities. Do not buy this. I'm sorry, uh, uh, whatever cereal company this is that made this. I'm telling people not to buy y'all stuff. If y'all want to support that cereal company, buy the Sour Patch Kids cereal. But if y'all are just buying it because y'all want some cereal, don't buy this crap. This was nasty. I would not eat it again. Definitely won't buy it again. Oh. Try our awesome new cereal flavors. This is the year of cereal. I'm naming it because there's all type of crazy cereals inside the uh, inside Walmart, which is why where I got this. So, y'all, um, just um, comment down some more cereals for me to, or some more of anything for me to taste, do a taste test on. Um, <laughs> this failed. Uh, the Starbucks drink will be moving on to the next round. Round three is still the leader. Uh, the Starbucks drink, I don't know what it was called, but maybe I should find out what that Starbucks drink was called all this time. Hold up, y'all. Wow, I've been calling it the unicorn drink all this time, and it is not called that. It's called Witch Brew. Witch Brew is what I reviewed, so check that video out, y'all. This was not good. That one wasn't, I don't remember how I felt about it, but I know I drunk the whole thing, so it had to be better than this. But this is pretty gross. Be sure to comment more foods for me to taste. And be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share this video on all forms of social media. Until next time, catch you later. No, the rest of this is going in the toilet. Throw the whole box away.